Hi, Roxy. Oh, you so cute. Hmm. Roxy on the vlog. Ooh. Wanna see something cool, guys? Check this out. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. In and out socks. My sister got me these for Christmas, and this is the first time I'm wearing them. Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm just here at the gas station filling up real quick. Um, I haven't really checked in with you guys since this morning, but let me just give you a quick update. I spent the better part of my morning at the DMV, which, you know, how I'm pretty sure we all feel the same about that. But I learned something pretty interesting today that I also think is, like, pretty stupid. So it turns out that an illegal immigrant can get a California's driver's license, but they cannot get a um, California like ID, which doesn't make any sense to me because a driver's license is a form of ID. It actually gives you more privileges than a regular ID card. So why can an illegal immigrant get a driver's license but not an ID card? That doesn't make any sense. In you'd think that the government would want everyone to have an ID. I don't get it, guys. It's kind of weird. Oh, almost ready, guys. Yeah, that's just like it's just idiocracy, if you ask me. And while I'm on the subject of uh, talking about things that I've just found out, um, just like I've, I actually found this out like a while ago. I just like, I don't think I ever mentioned it in my vlog, but get this guys. If a police officer ever asks to look at your phone for whatever reason, um, they actually, a police officer can actually not ask you to unlock your phone if you have a passcode. However, um, for example, like with the iPhone, you know how you can unlock an iPhone by putting your thumbprint? A police officer can ask you to unlock your iPhone with a thumbprint. However, they cannot ask you to unlock your phone if you have a passcode that you have to enter, like n numbers. And the reason for that is because um, a passcode, like number um, unlock, that is considered making a statement and you do not have to make statements to a police officer. As you know, you have the right to remain silent while you are being um, detained or arrested or just pulled over for whatever reason. However, asking somebody to unlock their phone with a thumbprint is considered an action and a police can ask you for action. Like they can ask you to put your hands behind your back, so on and so forth. Maybe just uh, keep a passcode on your phone. Hopefully you're not doing anything illegal though, guys. Like that's that's step one. Don't do anything illegal. <laughs> just thought I'd share that with you guys. But um, right now I'm on my way. I know I, I just dropped in off at work today, but we're gonna go um, eat together. And yeah, that's about it. What's up guys? So as you can see, it is now 2.40 in the morning. Um, I know I said I would have this vlog up. Well, let me think. I would have Mondays up on Monday. Monday's vlog up on Monday. Um, I guess it's Monday night, but technically it's not even Monday anymore, it's Tuesday, so I got it up kind of late, sorry about that guy. But before I hit the hay tonight, I just wanted to like clear up something a little bit earlier. Like I said the whole thing about, uh, you know, having a passcode, like a numeric passcode that you have to enter on your phone, uh, please can't check your phone. I'm not like trying to encourage people to like break the law or anything like that, but what I am trying to say like, you know, for something like, imagine if you're like buying weed or something from a friend of yours, and then like the police pull you over and they find weed in your car, they ask where you got it, they wanna check your phone to see who you bought it from, to like trying to get to your friend or something to bust your friend. First thing, I don't think that like anybody should like go to jail for like buying weed. I'm not saying that I support like any type of drug use and I don't condone like any type of drug use, but I'm just saying guys, like I don't think anybody should like go to jail for like something like that. And so, so if you're someone who's involved in some sort of like practice like that, like keep a numeric passcode on your phone. Don't do not do the fingerprint one. Um, it could save you some trouble. And anyways, guys, I, I just wanted to like clear that up. I wanted to tell you guys, I'm not saying like, I'm not saying I condone like any, any type of like criminal behavior and you should try to hide yourself from the police or anything. I'm not saying anything like that. I'm just saying like, you know, for petty stuff that can get you into trouble, um, you know, I think it's a, good thing to keep a numeric passcode on your phone not that I, I like honestly like I I technically don't need to use a numeric passcode on my phone like I'm not worried about getting in trouble by the police or anything like that I I, I just don't like 100% like feel like the fingerprint thing works all the time and it's easier just to like enter a 
code, I feel like. Anyways, guys, I will go ahead and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace. Good night. Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? It's um already Tuesday morning. I'm just going to head up to have some breakfast right now. Check it out. It was raining pretty much like all night. I didn't actually get to sleep last night until like pretty close to like 4 a.m. because I really wanted to get like the vlog up before I went to sleep because I was already like kind of late getting it up anyway. But geez, guys, I was like having the weirdest dreams last night. I'm like almost kind of glad I don't remember them because they were just like really weird and I would, I'd probably be in like a weird mood if I like. Uh, anyways, yeah, it's been kind of happening with me lately like two nights ago, I think it was. Whoa, check out how full the pool is. It's like almost all the way up. And I'm like, I think it was like two nights ago, I had this like weird dream where like I was at the beach and then like, oh, the door is locked, I'm locked out. I was at the beach and there's like these eggs on the beach and they started hatching and like turtles started coming out, like tortoises, not even like sea turtles. There's like a couple selling them. There's like a man and a woman selling these turtles that were hatching. And I was like, oh wow, what are you doing with those turtles? They're like, oh yeah, we're selling them. And then the man looked at me and he's all like, yeah, but you know, some of them, I might have to, I might have to cut in half with this knife to sell as like, um, um, to kill them so I could sell them as like, uh, keychains and stuff. And I was like, what the heck? I was like, you are a sick man. You are a sick man. Man, it was a, <laughs> it was a weird dream. That wasn't even the whole thing, but I mean, that's like the part that I remember like most vividly. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna get inside the house now. Hey, what's up guys? So it's already nighttime. Um, I kind of took it easy today because I kind of had like a uh, kind of an upset stomach earlier. So yeah, I kind of took it easy today. Um, I have to work tomorrow. So I'm gonna hit the hay in a minute. Um, before I go to bed, I just want to show you this. Check out these socks my friend Leslie got me. These ones have like dogs on them. These ones have stripes. She got me these for Christmas and I haven't worn them yet, but I think I will wear them soon. These ones have little foxes on them. Too cool guys, too cool. Anyways guys, I'm just about to hit the hay and um, yeah, I was just kind of reminiscing a little more about this past weekend. And um, if you haven't seen it yet, check out my vlog that I uploaded, um, the last vlog that I uploaded, which was uh, the wedding that I attended last weekend. And I was just thinking to myself how nice it is to see like two people, like my two friends, Megan and Eamon, who got married. And like they have like a real thing, you know, because like living down here in Los Angeles, I feel like a lot of people are kind of turned off by the idea of marriage because there's so many people here, especially in Los Angeles, who like get married to try to climb like some sort of social ladder or they have like other interests. Um, apart from love and like getting married and it's like kind of it's kind of sad but to see two people like Megan and Amy getting married it's like really nice to see that because um they're two hard-working people who have like a real connection with each other which is really cool so guys don't get discouraged I know I meet a lot of people who like are discouraged by like those types of things but don't get discouraged guys there are good people out there who are looking for something real. So, uh, anyways guys, that's what I'm gonna leave it at today. Uh, thank you for watching today's vlog. If you can go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. That really helps out the ranking of my videos. And uh, check out my other vlogs if you have not seen my other vlogs. All right, I'll talk tomorrow guys, or not, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be uploading again on Friday. All right, peace guys, good night.